Aloha, my friends, and welcome to another episode with Maui Craft Kitchen. My name is Don, and today is all about bread. This maple oatmeal bread will keep mom and dad happy with its added nutrition, while pleasing the kids with its slight touch of mapley sweetness. So hold on to your loaf pans, because we're going to work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Let's give an extra big mahalo to Rob the camera guy for always showing up for work. Now this recipe is not only super easy to make, this dough is really easy to handle as well. All we need to do to get going is mix all the ingredients together thoroughly for about 60 seconds and then cover it and let it sit on the counter for 30 minutes. After the first 30 minutes, we're going to do a four-way stretch and fold. Just grab one side, stretch it up, treat it like a lady, be gentle, fold it over. Repeat that with the remaining three sides. We're going to do two more of these folds, spaced 30 minutes apart from each other, for a total of three folds. After three stretch and folds, we're ready to shape. First thing you're going to do is lightly lubricate your loaf pan. This one is roughly nine inches by five inches by two inches deep. Then you're going to turn your dough out onto a lightly floured work surface. and stretch it into a little rectangle. Then we're going to fold the short ends into the center, slightly overlapping the second one and pinching to seal. Turn it 90 degrees, just to make things a little bit easier, and then we're just going to roll it. Lay out some oats. Get the top of your loaf slightly damp. Then holding on to the bottom, you're just going to roll Get the sides if you want. Then bring the loaf pan back. Oat side is going to be the top side. 
Now cover it with a light tea cloth and let it sit for two to two and a half hours at 75 degrees Fahrenheit before throwing it in a 400 degree oven. After two to three hours, depending on the temperature in your kitchen, you're going to throw this into a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes. You'll then rotate the loaf, drop the oven temperature to 375 degrees, and bake it for an additional 20 minutes. Such a versatile bread recipe that can be used for anything from French toast to grilled sandwiches. I'd like to take a quick second now to congratulate Adam from Sarasota, Florida. Adam is MCK's very first giveaway winner and has a Spread It Like Aloha t-shirt on the way. If you liked today's episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification. I can't thank you all enough for watching. Many mahalos and much aloha.